Welcome to another episode of Rebel Access. I'm your host, Summer. Tonight, I'm at the House of Blues. This is... Oh, what's up? This is Josh. I play bass. And I'm Tim, and I sing. All right. So how did you decide on the name as I'm playing? And does any meaning me, 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 me. well, I wasn't actually in the best time. So you'd probably want to talk to Tim more about it. Even though I know the story, I'll let Tim tell it just because he was actually there. Uh, it just We got the idea from the novel, uh, As I Lay Dying. It's a William Faulkner novel, and uh, there's not really a tie with, like, between our lyrics and, and the book, but we just like the name. All right, all right, cool. How did As I Lay Dying form, and how long have you guys been together? Has uh, your current lineup been together? Yeah, well, uh, well, the current lineup's been together, I guess less than a year, uh, about nine months, as far Josh being the newest guy, but um, as far as Jordan and I are the original members, we started the band uh, a little over six and a half years ago. So. Cool, cool. How many releases have you, have you guys put out, and uh, what's uh, your latest? This will be our fourth release. The, the, the release just came out two months ago, The Notion Between Us. Okay. Cool, cool. What do you want your fans to know about your latest release? Uh, we just, uh, well, these guys just, you know, wrote some awesome songs and, uh, pushed themselves to create, you know, more than they had in the previous releases. I can't really speak again for, the, for this question because, uh, I actually uh, came into the writing process when it was about 95% finished. But Tim, you have anything to say? Uh, well, just from a recording standpoint, I think this is, uh, you know, we were able to capture the best performances, and even even Josh, uh, he wasn't part of the uh, songwriting per se. I mean, hit the the purposes of uh, you know bass and, and vocals, you know, um, along with all the rest of the instrumentation. I think is is definitely uh, our, our best yet. Awesome. So, who were your guys' musical influences growing up? Anybody stick out? More? Well, of course, anyone who like loves metal is going to say bands like Metallica and Megadeth. Pantera stuff like that, but then even more like punk bands, like not really punk, but like bands like the first, first bands I bought CDs from were bands like Green Day and like yeah, you yeah. know like Nirvana and stuff. Like that. So you know that kind of stuff. What about you? Uh, yeah, I mean the, the typical metal influences, you know. But um, I, I California, like where I grew up, uh, wasn't like much of a metal metal scene. I grew up more so in uh, listening to the hardcore bands from. Uh, from the area, like uh, Norris and Victim and Strife, and uh, just like old hardcore bands that uh, we don't necessarily sound like, but uh, they had a lot of aggression and energy behind the music. Right, right, good. So, uh, what song do you think really gets uh, your fans going at the shows? Uh, well, it seems like the most requested song we have is is an old song called "94 Hours," and uh, I don't know. It seems to have the 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 most chaos in the crowd when when that song goes. Yeah. So, uh, what's your favorite song to play? Let me think about that. My favorite song to play, honestly, it's one that we're not actually playing on this tour. Is this song called Reflection? And don't ask me why. I just really like the main riff of the song. It's just really a sick riff to me, and I, I like to play it. So, that would be my favorite. Do you have a favorite? Uh, I, I mean, I, I enjoy 94 Hours because the crowd really gets gets into it. Um, uh, I, I also like, we have a song called Distance is Darkness, a little more chaotic, it's fun to play because there's not really like a 